at the center of New York City. The icon of freedom. Statue of Liberty. Hello and welcome to Z. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. Statue of Liberty The Statue of Liberty, Liberty Enlightening the World, is a massive neoclassical sculpture located on Liberty Island in New York Harbor in New York City, New York, USA. The copper statue was sculpted by French sculptor Frédéric Auguste Bartoli and its metal framework was built by Gustave Eiffel as a gift from the people of France to the people of the United States. On October 28, 1886, the statue was dedicated. The statue depicts Libertas, the robed Roman liberty goddess. She holds a torch above her head in her right hand and a tabula ansata engraved July, July 4, 1776 in Roman numerals, the date of the United States Declaration of Independence, in her left. As she moves forward, a broken shackle and chain fall at her feet, signifying the recent national abolition of slavery. Following its consecration, the statue became an image of freedom and the United States, serving as a welcoming sign for immigrants arriving by sea. Bartholdi was inspired by a French law professor and politician named Edouard René de Laboulet, who was claimed to have remarked in 1865 that any monument dedicated to American independence should be a joint initiative of the French and American peoples. The Franco-Prussian War stalled development until 1875, when Laboulet offered that the French fund the statue while the U.S. furnished the location and build the pedestal. Bartoli finished the head and torch-bearing arm before the rest of the statue was finished, and these pieces were displayed for publicity at international expositions. The torch-bearing arm was on display during the Centennial Exposition in Philadelphia in 1876, then in Manhattan's Madison Square Park from 1876 to 1882. Fundraising proved difficult, particularly for Americans, and work on the pedestal was threatened by a lack of funds by 1885. The New York World Else publisher, Joseph Pulitzer, launched a fundraising campaign to complete the project, attracting almost 120,000 donors, the majority of whom gave less than a dollar, equal to $30 in 2021. The statue was constructed in France, shipped to the United States in cartons, and installed on the completed pedestal on what was then known as Bedloe's Island. The completion of the statue was honored by New York's first ticker tape parade and a ceremony presided over by President Grover Cleveland. Until 1901, the statue was overseen by the United States Lighthouse Board and subsequently by the Department of War. Since 1933, it has been maintained by the National Park Service as part of the Statue of Liberty National Monument and it is a popular tourist destination. Since 1916, public access to the balcony surrounding the torch has been restricted. Quick facts. In the wind, the statue sways 3 inches, 7.62 centimeters, while the torch sways 5 inches, 12.7 centimeters. Visitors must ascend 354 steps, 22 floors, to view the crown's 25 windows. At the time, the statue was the highest structure in the United States, at 151 feet, 1 inch, 46 meters, 2.5 millimeters. Liberty's spine was designed by engineer Gustave Eiffel, who would eventually design the Eiffel Tower in Paris. For massive iron columns support a metal structure that holds the thin copper skin inside the statue. Frédéric Auguste Bartholdi knew he wanted to make a massive copper goddess, so he modeled it after his mother. 300 sheets of coin-thin copper are used to cover the statue. They were formed into various forms and glued together. The torch arm is 46 feet, 14 meters, long, the finger is 8 feet, 2.4 meters, long, and the nose is about 5 feet long, 1.5 meters. The seven rays in the crown signify the seven seas of the earth. Lady Liberty, 10 interesting facts. 1. The original model was maybe an Egyptian woman. Many historians believe that the Statue of Liberty was inspired by Libertas, the Roman goddess of liberty. Sculptor Frederick Auguste Bartholdi, on the other hand, was inspired by the enormous sculptures guarding Nubian tombs. He had a lifetime interest in large-scale public monuments. In his Suez Canal concept, 
Bartoli envisioned a massive statue of a robed woman representing Egypt to stand at Portshead, near the canal's northern end. The statue's prototype was titled Egypt Carrying the Light to Asia. The project was later shelved due to its excessive cost, but the concepts would live on. The female figure in the Portshead design became the goddess Liberty enlightening the world. 2. She has very thin skin. The Statue of Liberty is encased in a very thin coating of copper, about the thickness of two pennies squeezed together. She was a gorgeous brown hue when she was assembled on Bedloe's Island, and she kept that way for around 35 years. By 1920, the copper skin had begun to rust, transforming it into the beautiful sea green we see today. Lady Liberty, who stands 879 feet tall on her pedestal, has a 35-foot waistline, is 305 feet tall, and wears a size 879 shoe. 3. The pedestal for the statue was funded through an early crowdfunding campaign. The French government paid for the monument with the idea that Americans would contribute cash for her pedestal, which is made of pink stony creek granite. Governor Grover Cleveland refused to utilize state funds, Congress couldn't agree on a figure, and a dedicated fundraising committee fell short by one-third of its goal. As Baltimore, Philadelphia, San Francisco, and Boston all expressed interest in acquiring the sculpture, Joseph Pulitzer suggested a solution, he would print the names of all contributors and award prizes to the largest contributors. In just five months, the campaign raised $101,091 from over 160,000 donors, including children, street cleaners, and politicians, with more than 75% of contributions being less than a dollar. Finally, they could proceed, $100,000 covered the final cost of the pedestal, and the remainder was given to the artist as a gift. For the present was designed to commemorate the abolition of slavery in the United States. In the 1870s, French abolitionist Édouard de Laboulaye collaborated with sculptor Frédéric Bartholdi and famous engineer Gustave Eiffel on a massive gift for the United States. The statue would be a sign of friendship between the two countries, as well as a commemoration of the abolition of slavery. De Laboulaye hoped secretly that such a gift would inspire his own people to strive for their freedom. Napoleon III had recently ended the Second Republic by continuing in power beyond the end of his tenure and declared himself Emperor of France. Many African-American newspapers criticized on the statue's representation of American hypocrisy at the time of its dedication. Even after slavery was abolished, Jim Crow legislation in the South and less explicit but equally oppressive and exclusionary practices in the North denied African-Americans the equality, justice, and liberty for all that our country claimed to promote. Lady Liberty was originally sculpted with broken shackles by Bartholdi, but the clear connection to slavery was eventually deemed too contentious. Instead, a broken chain and shackles lie at the statue's feet, subtly conveying the abolitionist message. 5. Espionage plot rendered her lamp dangerous for guests to ascend. Many people believe that typical wear and tear has deteriorated the torch to the point where tourists may no longer climb up to its balcony, but the true cause is an explosion during World War I. German agents set explosives in a weapons dump between Black Tom Island and Jersey City on July 30, 1916, knocking out windows as far away as Times Square. Flying debris injured the statue's arm and torch, which were not repaired until 1984, when the torch was replaced and coated in 24 karat gold leaf. The original torch can now be found in the pedestal lobby. The torch was never reopened, but those seeking a glimpse can still visit the crown by making a reservation at Statue Cruises. Com. 6. She sways in the breeze. Gustav Eiffel, famous for the iron tower that bears his name, designed the statue's unusual skeleton. The iron construction at the heart was cutting edge at the time, capable of shifting in the wind without cracking or bending. During high gusts, Lady Liberty can sway up to three inches in any direction, and her torch can wobble up to five inches. 7. She attracts lightning strikes. According to most estimations, the Copper Monument has been struck by 600 bolts of lightning per year since it was erected in New York Harbor. Jay Fine was the first to photograph this phenomena when he photographed a magnificent bolt striking her in 2010. 8. Each component is symbolic. The book she carries has the date of our Declaration of Independence, July 4, 1776, and the seven points of her crown represent the seven seas, seven continents, and the sun's rays. 
This artwork is intended to express the hopeful spread of liberty over the world, as well as the example that the United States was establishing for other countries. 9. She was almost a talking statue. Thomas Edison, the inventor of the light bulb and the phonograph, once considered installing a large gramophone inside the Statue of Liberty to allow her to talk. The concept was ultimately rejected. 10. She's on the go. Lady Liberty, although being a statue, is not immobile. Her right leg is in the middle of a stride, and her right foot is about to leave the ground. She marches forward, towards the horizon, always pointing the way and lighting the way to independence and freedom. This is mentioned in Dave Eger's great book, Her Right Foot. This is all for now. Thank you for being with us.